Who or what am I? What is my purpose in this life? How do I find true happiness? All of us have asked these questions at some point in our lives, and many of us are still asking. Today on Million Ways to Live, we journey deep into the mountains of southern Portugal to Monte Sahaja, where Sri Muji provides clarity on life's most important issues and shows us the path to inner peace. We live primarily in the notion of merely being our body, mind and conditioning. And that is not our true self. It is a, a limited portrait of our completeness. We don't get it right at this level. And I think it is good that we don't get it right at this level because our failure at this level to find that complete state stimulates an urge to go more deeply into exploring into our nature. You know? If our projections, our idea of who we are in this limited um, portrait was true, we would not grow. So the deeper question and quest would be a real search for completeness, which you will not find simply by having a healthy body. It's a good start, it is helpful, but it is not enough by itself. It would have to be something internal. I may have asked Muji general questions, but I felt he was talking directly about my life and my experience but I'm sure anyone listening would feel the same. Internal work is tough. You come face to face with powerful negative emotions like fear, sadness, depression, and anger, which led me to the question, why does personal growth have to sometimes be uncomfortable and painful? Pain and the suffering are essential components in life. They have to be there because they, they generate and promote you know, evolution and maturity. Pleasure by itself does not promote introspection. So often difficult, challenging situations and so on, they trigger more, more reflective and uh, meditative uh, qualities within ourselves. No one wants to feel bad, and it's human nature to want to feel better or feel good, so we create our lives around chasing the good and avoiding the bad. Negative emotions are not easy feelings to sit with, especially when you're in the moment feeling them. I asked Muji what a person can do when they feel these intense sensations when clearly the instinct is to run the other direction. The healthiest way I can tell you is to become silent and empty. It's not immediately appealing to the mind because we are sort of used to going to get tools to fix things because our outer coaching and conditioning does not put much value on say meditation or on stillness. We put a lot of value on time and money but on silence and peace and emptiness, we rarely talk about that. We're even a little bit scared about it, even uncomfortable about it. And yet you have to go to this place of total emptiness. You can say, thank God for sleep, because life, nature, God gives you that opportunity for eight hours, almost as full as your waking hours, to be completely nobody and to be completely empty of intention, of identity, of activity. And we don't go into that state screaming, oh, please don't let me go there. No, we totally love it. We buy the best bed to ensure that we can forget about everything. When you clear the mind and find stillness, you begin to lead a life that is less reactive and angry and more tolerant and patient, not just for yourself, but for everyone around you. Your entire world transforms and you find the harmony that all of us are seeking. Our urge is for lasting happiness, for peace, for harmony actually, but not being aware of that consciously, we go about of it in search of this through relationships, through, through a sport, through so many different activities. And we have to go through them and then eventually to discard them, to say, well, it's not that, it's not, that, it's not lasting. If your seeking is earnest, you know, life brings it to you, life arranges it for you, that you will come to the next opportunity and it will be introduced to you consciously, you see. I want to show you a simple way to get back in harmony with yourself. Just sit quietly for a little bit and just feel the sense of beingness, the sense of just the sense I or I am. Once you, you are aware of how simple it is, just the feeling of being, if you had nothing to do, nothing to become, nothing to change, nothing to fix, nothing at all, that simple empty space, just be there. In the beginning, it might become very difficult, it might feel very difficult to do, but persist. 
and gradually you'll be able to stay even though thoughts and noise come and say, oh my God, is there, there's even more noise than before is coming. But don't give up. And after a short time, you're going to discover something very, very beautiful. You're going to discover a silence in yourself, a peace, and the feeling of amnes is, a, is the most powerful discovery in the human kingdom.